Jennifer with my notes. Uh -huh. Aha! You know, I, I should have told this story at your birthday party, Jim, but I didn't think of it until it was over. But um, the first time that I crossed paths with Jim Peterick was not indeed at my father's gas station. It was even earlier than that. No, I don't know about it that. It was in the 80s, in the 1980s. It may have been the early 80s, ew, even. Ew, ew. And I rode the train, because I didn't have a driver's license, I rode the train from Hinsdale to LaGrange. Ew. had nothing to do and, and I went to Beautiful Day Records which is right on the oh, yeah. uh, range oh, yeah. road there oh, yes. and, um, what and what happened I was looking at this wall of buttons you know and I and I look over at this guy standing at the counter and he had these big glasses on and of like a fur coat you know and it was like July <laughs> And, no, it was it was actually it was actually winter time, and and I, I was looking at this button, the survivor button, and I'm looking at the guy, and I'm looking at the button, and I'm like, I think that's him. And the guy behind the counter says, "Happy birthday, Jim." And he said, "How'd you know it's my birthday?" And he said, "I heard it on the radio." And I was like, "That's him." <laughs> so that was the that was the first time that oh, I God. crossed your path, but I was too shy to say anything, of course. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> you were wearing that little uh, those jeans, poor. right? Probably. Yes. Yeah. I jeans. had a lot of buttons on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, here is a a song uh, that I get to sing with Jefferson Starship. And it goes a one, two, one, two, three. When the truth is found. 